Hello, Craig Howard here again. Just want to share another morning devotion with you. Hope you're sharing these with people. Um, it's It's been fun to uh, have people from different places and different areas say, oh, I, I saw that devotional. That really helped me that day. Uh, that was really meaningful to me. I'm glad that you did that. Or I'm glad that you said that. It was encouraging to me. And my, my goal with these devotionals is just simply encouragement. Um, uh, I'm not trying to avoid certain topics in, in the Bible, um, but they, uh, you know, you don't have enough time to expound on a lot of different things, but I just want to try and do things that are encouraging in these morning devotions. I want to ask you a question. Are you ever afraid? Do you ever get afraid? Well, that's probably a silly question because everybody gets afraid sometimes. But uh, I read about a lady who called the police one night in the middle of the night. Uh, she heard somebody moving around in her bathroom. And she went over and she could see shadows under the door and, and, and hear shuffling around in the bathroom. And, and she lived alone. So she called the police and she told them that there was someone hiding in her bathroom. And so the police came rushing out brought the canine dogs, uh, they, they beat on the door and they said, you know, whoever's in there, come out. And, and uh, you know, the person who was in the bathroom wouldn't come out. And, and so they, they drew their guns and they got ready and they opened the door and there was a Roomba, a robotic vacuum moving around inside of the bathroom and bumping into things. It had been doing a very good job of very thoroughly cleaning the bathroom. Well, uh, the perpetrator wasn't taken into custody, uh, was sentenced to several months or years of domestic uh, service in that house. Um, but it, 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 was, you know, it was just one of those deals where what is in your mind seems much scarier than what is in reality. And I think that's the way it is sometimes with God's people. There are things that frighten us, there are things that scare us, and they keep us from doing the things for God that we could do, that we should do. Uh, they scare us away. We're afraid to talk to a particular person because we're afraid about how they might respond. So we're afraid to witness to them or talk to them about the Lord. Um, we're afraid to go into some area of ministry or do something because we're afraid we might mess up. Uh, we might not do a good job. So we avoid doing that. Uh, but you know, the Bible tells us a little something about fear. It says, over in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 24, it says, Do not be afraid of the sudden terror, nor of trouble from the wicked when it comes. For the Lord will be your confidence. Did you get that? If you're afraid to do something for God, if you're afraid to, 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 to serve Him in some way, if you're afraid to go into some area of ministry, you're afraid to work with children, you're afraid to uh, get in your church's Christmas play or or whatever, you know, you're, you just because you lack the confidence, you lack the security that you're going to do a good job or that things are going to go well, um, it says don't be afraid because God will be your confidence. You know, you may be afraid to apply for that new job. You may be afraid to um, meet that young lady that uh, seems so, you know, like she's got it together and you look at yourself in the mirror and you think, why in the world would she want anything to do with me? Well, you don't know. But... God says, don't be afraid of the terrors in your life. Don't be afraid. And terrors are things that aren't necessarily real. They just seem real. They just are things, many times they're things that are just going on in your mind. And it says, don't be afraid of these things. Uh, or when troubles come from, from wicked people who are trying to hurt you, because the Lord will be your confidence. He will keep your foot from being caught. Today. What is it you're afraid of? What are you afraid to do? What are you afraid to, you know, are you afraid to, to make that jump to the new job that you, that's, that's available to you? And, and, you know, you're afraid that this is something you're going to do. Now, I'm not telling you this is something you have to do, but I'm saying if, if God is opening doors, don't be afraid to go through them. If God is giving you opportunities for service, don't ignore them. If, if, if God is, is, building possibilities for relationships. Don't be afraid to go through them. Now, 
Let me preface that. Maybe you're in, maybe you're in a uh, marriage that isn't going so well and you've met somebody over here that seems a whole lot nicer. That's not a door God opened. I'm going to tell you that right now. But anyway, don't be afraid. Well, my time is going that quickly. I've got to hurry up. Um, so I got to get back over here to my camera controls on my phone. But it's so good to be with you again today. Share this with somebody that you think could benefit from it. Take a look, grab the link from YouTube and uh, share it with somebody else. All of the videos that I've done are on YouTube. So there's not a lot of people that have found them there yet. But if you want to if you want to share those links and let people find them, uh, that's good too. But anyhow, I hope you have a great day today. I hope your day is just filled with blessings. I'm on my way up to Camp Galilee to do some work up there and get some things ready for the upcoming camping season up there. So all you kids that watch this that are from Camp Galilee, looking forward to seeing you up there. You have a great day. God bless you. We'll talk to you tomorrow.